I did that yesterday. Oh, I forgot. This guy's up. Wait, what? Why is this not working? Did you see who's there, honey? No, we're doing it online. You want it? You know what? Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna wait outside though till we figure it out. As diligently and respectfully as possible. Yeah. Let's see where you're at. <clears throat> I want to make sure this is good. Just have this. <laughs> I'm asking them to get on.
Then you're over 10 years. So you'll be fine. I'm going to try to use this time as a boot camp. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to our first live in Soul Camp Life Seed Yoga. Um, a couple of things I want you to have before you start class. Obviously, a yoga mat, if you have two blocks, that would be good. But if not, definitely make sure you have a couple of blankets or a couple of big towels. So let's just begin to get started here and settle into your space. Know that if you're new or beginner to yoga, you're just going to follow along to the best of your ability and don't force anything. Take breaths at any time. So you get started in a comfortable cross-legged seat. 
Cross the legs, maybe half lotus. If you want one foot in the hip crease or both feet in the hip creases and just move your sit bones a little further apart so you're closer to the floor. Take your palms up and your index finger and thumbs to lightly touch. Take your shoulders to your ears, just roll them down the back. Let the body settle, close the eyes, tuck the chin in. And just start to notice your breath. And just let the thoughts fade out into the distance for now and attach your awareness entirely to the inhalations and the exhalations. And slow your breath down. And see the lungs completely of air. And as you breathe in, you fill the body with air. Just allow it to gather up any tension or stress or fears or worries, anything unnecessary. And as you exhale slowly, let all that just exit the body and flow away from you. And again, a nice, full, long, slow inhalation. Drag up anything remaining that is unwanted or unneeded. Breathe it away and let it fade away into nothingness. And again, breathing in, breathe in light, expansion, connection, compassion, freedom. Breathe out all the separateness, all the angst, all the worry, all the stress. And just breathing together for one minute. The awareness turned within. Everything else just waits. And now just gently blinking the eyes open with your gaze, low at the floor, turn your palms down onto your knees. Take an in-breath, go a bit taller with the breath. And as you breathe out, just start to create a little bit of movement in the body, circling gently. Gradually making the circles wider and bigger. Begin to circle in the opposite direction. As you're circling, keep your lids mostly closed so you remain in that meditative state, focused on the quiet within. Gradually make the circle bigger and wider. Center yourself, sit nice and tall, pull the breath into the body and lengthen up and then as you exhale around the spine, curl the hands over the knees, roll the shoulders forward, drop the chin to the chest, breathe in, expand, arch, roll the chest open, look up, draw the rib cage forward and then as you exhale round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, drop the head, breathe in, expansion, breathe light into the body, pull the breath out, pull the navel to the spine, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, roll forward, open the chest, look up. Exhale to round the spine. So you're just warming the spine up. Three more with the flow of your breath. Let the breath lead, arching with the inhalation, contracting and rounding with the exhalation. Pull the navel to the spine. Good. Open up with the inhale, lift the heart. Exhale to round the spine, drop the head. Last one, fill the body with air and rise. And empty and curl back. So at this time, as you inhale, the hands lift high in the air, high and wide, turn the palms up. Exhale, twist, take the right hand to the left knee, push it away, look past the left shoulder. 
Inhale, reach up high and wide. Exhale, twist over to the right. Breathe in, hands high, look up. Breathe out and twist. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist. Good, breathe in. This time, reach up high and then fold out over the legs. Crawl the hands in front of you. Sink the head, let the shoulders rest. Push your tailbone into the floor. Breathe into the spine. And then inhale, start to roll back up to seated. Right, we'll transition to hands and knees from here. Your toes curled under, your fingers spread out wide. Glue your hands to the mat. And just start to circle the body here, just slow. And we're gonna go the other way. Good. Just come to stillness here. Center yourself. Step your right foot back and push the heel towards the floor. Push the mat away with the hands. With an inhale, start to shift forward. Bring your shoulders out over your fingertips. With an exhale, press the foot to the mat. Press the hands forward into the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. Take the right knee to the floor, step the left foot back. When you exhale, start to shift the heel towards the mat, press it down. And then the inhale, you float forward, the shoulders out over the fingertips. Exhale, inhale, breathe out, breathe in. Good, lower the knee to the floor, sit back on your heels, point the toes behind you, rest the hands on the lap. Drop the chin into the chest, stretch the back of the neck. Slowly roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Let it just kind of hang heavily and then pull gently the left shoulder away from the left earlobe. Good, let it go, roll left ear to left shoulder. Gently pull the right shoulder away from the right earlobe. Now we're just gonna rest the right hand on the leg and then gently half circle the neck, rolling one ear to one shoulder and then the other. We're gonna take one slow, careful, mindful rotation all the way over to one side and then to the other. And you walk the hands out in front of the knees. Come on the knees with the toes curled under. We'll transition to downward facing dog from here. Press the hands into the mat. Lift the knees from the floor. Drop the heels to the mat. Press the belly towards the thighs. Find a comfortable stance here. You may need to walk the hands out, walk the feet closer, walk the hands wider, and then shift the heels, lengthen them towards the floor. Let the heart melt. Maybe the head is hanging here, or maybe the ears are resting between the upper arm bones. And plug your shoulders down your back. Start to pedal here, bend one knee and then the other. Start to walk up to the top of the mat. Just angle out over the legs here in a forward fold with a heavy head. Grasping the hands together behind the knees, pulling your belly closer to your thighs and gently shifting the weight from heels to toes. And release the hands down to your side and take an in-breath as you roll up really slowly. Step one vertebra at a time. As you come to standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose, roll the shoulders back so the heart expands forward, turn the palms forward. Lift your toes from the floor, take a full in-breath and lengthen up with that breath and then send the out-breath all the way to the feet, get more grounded, lower the toes to the mat. I'm gonna walk the feet out as wide as the mat here. 
exhale. From here, we're gonna hook the thumbs together, bring the index fingers to touch and curl the rest of your fingers into the palms of the hand. So your pointer fingers are reaching for the floor here. Push your heart forward, expand the collarbone, expand the chest. This is a lung meridian stretch to find more expansion in the lungs. And then as you exhale, you're gonna to start to forward fold down over the legs. The head drops heavily. You can slightly bend the knees and you're gonna keep trying to lift the hands high in the air forward, right? So you feel that stretch happening in the lung meridian. It's this uh, meridian line, energy line that runs from the center of the collarbone and the little indentation below the collarbone all the way down to the thumb across the outer arm. Now breathe in and start to rise up. Push the heart up, take a little back bend, pull the belly forward, switch the cross of the thumbs. And again, press the index fingers, your pointer fingers down to the mat. Right, so you're activating your lung moody and you're releasing stagnant energy in this area. And then you're gonna start to fold forward down over the legs, let the head hang heavily. Keep pulling the arms overhead, slightly bend the knees if you want. Actually, you can bend them as deep as you want to here. Just try to create that little bit of intensity in your shoulder area, your collarbone area. Good, and then start to rise up nice and slow with your head heavy, your knees slightly bent. And as you come to standing, just let the arms swing out. And place the hands on the hips and start to circle the hips out, just warming them up. Nice big wide circles. And go the other way. and center yourself and walk your feet back to equidistant and step to the top of the mat. Take an in breath as you bring the hands together above the head, look up at your thumbs, take an out breath as you sink low and start to drop the tailbone to the floor. Inhale, rise up, hands together at the heart center and then exhale, hinge forward, fold down over the legs, let, let the head drop. A flat back with your in breath, your palms to your shins, lengthen forward. And start to bend your knees, take your hands to the top corners of your mat, step your feet back, two long steps into plank position, high push up, glue the hands to the mat, open the fingers out wide, press your heels back, lengthen the legs, and then pull the navel to the spine, engage the core. Let's drop the knees to the floor, begin to bend the elbows, use your shoulders, lower the belly to the mat, keep the elbows hugging in towards one another. Lift your chin, lift your heart, push your shoulders back, point the toes behind your baby cobra. And then start to press the floor away, lengthen the arms, come to down dog, shift back, pedaling, bending one knee and then the other. I'm gonna start to walk the feet up to the top of the mat. Dangle here for a moment, ground your feet, root them. And then from that, rise all the way up. Palms touch above the head. Sink down, chair pose, Utkatasana. Look at your thumbs. Rise up, breathe in, hands at heart. Hinge forward, fold down over the legs with an exhale. A flat back to prepare. Palms to the shins, lengthen the crown of the head forward. A plank, bend your knees, place the hands at the top corners of the mat. Step your feet back. Press through your hands, pull your navel up, press your heels back, engage your shoulders, push them down away from the ears. Knees, belly to the floor, elbows hugging in. A baby cobra, lift the heart, push the shoulders back, point the toes behind you if you want, coming up into an upward facing dog. Rolling the elbow creases forward, lifting the chin higher. Down dog, press the floor away, curl the toes under. Step up or float your feet up. Inhale, sweep the hands together above the head. Look at your thumbs, sink down with Katasana chair pose. Rise up, bringing the hands to press together at the heart center. Hinge forward, fold down over the legs. Flat back with the in breath. Plank and lower on the out breath. 
Take the exhale all the way to the floor, either knees, chest, and chin, or full plank. Right, fill the heart with breath and light, upward facing, or baby cobra. Exhale into downward facing dog. Keep following the flow of your breath. Let the breath lead. Step or float up. Inhale to rise, sweep the hands up, fill the body with air. Empty the lungs as you sink, chair pose. Lengthen, grow tall, breathe in. Exhale and fold. Flat back, inhale. Chaturanga, step or jump your feet back in plank. Lower to the mat, either knees, chest, and chin, or full plank. Push your shoulders down your back as you lower. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep moving through or you can always stop and rest at any time. Step or float up. Sweep the hands above the head, fill the body with air, empty it with katasana, chair pose. Lengthen, hands to heart, samasati, uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha uttanasana, a flat back, lengthen, prepare. Chaturanga, plank, lower to the floor, ride the exhale to the mat. Heart lifts, cobra, fill it with breath. Or up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Uttanasana, step or jump up, sweep up, inhale, fill up. Empty, sink, chair pose, Utkatasana. Grow tall, breathe in, exhale, fold. Flat back, inhale, plank and lower on the exhale. Baby cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog. Every step of the flow synchronized with breath. Step up and rise, fill up. Empty, sink. Lengthen, grow tall, fill up. Forward fold, hinge down over the legs. Flat back with the in breath. Chaturanga, plank and lower to the floor on the out breath. Fill the body with air, fill the heart with breath, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two more, keep moving through or stop and rest at any time. Inhale to rise, step up. Exhale to sink. Go tall, breathe in, hinge, breathe out. Flat back with your inhale, plank lower to the floor on your exhale. Upward facing with the in breath, downward facing with the out breath. Last one, Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, palms touch Utkatasana, sink. Go tall, breathe in, Uttanasana, fold, empty the lungs. Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Chaturanga. Plank and lower, upward facing, downward facing. Then just resting the body in child's pose. Shift forward, take your knees to the floor, point the toes behind you, rest the forehead on the mat. Let the body just sink, let it settle, let the bones get heavy. Give everything to gravity. Breathe, let go of the struggle in the body. Downward facing dog. And you're going to raise the right leg high in the air. Bend the knee, bring it forward towards your heart. You're going to step the foot on the mat either all the way to the top or helping it along with the right hand. Turn the left heel to the floor. Root through your feet. Feel your hips square forward, your shoulders square forward. Stay low for a moment. Stabilize through the legs. From that, St stability, rise up, float the hands above the head. Virabhadrasana one. So your hips are curled forward, shoulders sinking, relaxed, feet rooted, strong, breathing, letting go of any efforting. You can start to straighten the front leg and just walk that foot out of steps. Square your hips a bit more. Like you're trying to turn that left hip forward, pulling the right hip back. Hook the thumbs, index fingers point down, reaching for the floor. Expand the heart forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Start to forward fold, keep your chest and chin up for now. So your back foot root a little more, get more stable. From that stability, sinking the head, reaching the hands together above the head. Let the back foot root a little bit more so you stay stable and grounded and you're not dumping the weight 
into only the front foot. We let go of any resistance. Think of that. Letting go of any stagnation in your lung, in the lung meridian. Start to rise up nice and slow. Just take this right into a back bend. First, square your body forward. Pull your navel forward. Pull your shoulders back. Push your heart up. And we're going to walk that foot back to the midline of the mat. Arms rise up, stack the right knee above the mat, Virabhadrasana one. Feel the connection of your feet to the floor. Feel your body come to ease and steadiness. Let go of any struggle. Breathe. Step up to chair pose, sink down. Rise up to prayer pose, stand tall. Fold. Flat back, breathe in, lengthen, prepare. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. With your breath, the breath always leads. Left leg high, step it through or help it along to the top of the mat. Root your feet, turn your right heel down, turn your toes towards the top of the mat, square your hips. With an in-breath, float the arms up above the head. Staff your knee above your ankle, let your shoulders come to ease. Breathe. Feel your connection of the feet to the floor. Rooted to the earth, the hands reaching for the heavens. You're right in the center of that. You are the middle of the trifecta. This is where you need to find ease, steadiness, letting go. And start to straighten the front leg, lengthen up with that. Walk the foot out just a step so that you can nicely square your hips a bit more. Tuck the thumbs, point the index fingers down, curl the rest of the fingers up into the palm. Push the heart up, push the shoulders back, a flat back, chest and chin up. Reach the arms high. Activate the lung meridian, simulating the immune response in the lungs as well. And you're going to sink the head, reach the hands up high, create a little bit of angst in your shoulders, root your back foot strongly here. Breathe. Let go of any efforting in the body. to start to rise up. Make sure you center and square yourself forward first, then take your back bend. The belly pushes forward, the heart reaches up, the shoulders push down, the index fingers reach for the floor. Don't go so deep in your back bend that you cause struggle in your body or pain or panic. Good, start to take the palms together above the head, step forward, Sink down, chair pose, Uttapasana. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Flat back, lengthen, and prepare. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. In synchronicity with the flow of your breath. Step or float your feet up. I'm going to rise to standing here. Stay low for a moment in your forward fold. And as you rise up, you're going to take the arms wide into a T, and you're going to start to step your left foot behind you. Reach it in the air for airplane pose. Find balance here. Lock your gaze on a still point. Full deep breath. Whatever arises, whatever challenge arises in the pose, meet it with your breath. Let it go. Stand tall. Shake your legs out. And again, arms in a T, step the opposite foot back, airplane pose. If you fall out of the balance, you come right back in. Maintain a steady gaze on a still point, making your breath deeper. Good, let it go and just shake your legs out. Come to sit on the mat in Virasana, sitting back on your heels.
All right, we're going to walk the hands behind us. All right, if it's challenging to walk the hands back, feel free to take a prop. You can take a couple of stack towels or take your blocks and give yourself a little extra room. All right, otherwise, if you want to go deeper, you're bending the elbows, but keep your body arching forward. You want expansion in the front of the rib cage. Breathe into your, the front of the lungs. Breathe into the heart. If you want to go deeper, you're lowering to the forearms. Again, keeping that arch in the body, that expansion in the rib cage. You can let the head go if you want. You can also bring the forearms to blocks. And so you kind of find what works for you, what feels right in your body. Some of you might all come all the way onto the back the hands reaching overhead. Keep your knees glued to the floor. If they start to rise up, you're gonna destabilize your hips and your lower back. Take three more breaths here with the eyes closed. Breathe light into the lungs. When you're ready to rise up, walk your hands forward, come onto your elbows. Walk the hands forward and start to shift forward. Shift over to one side, Baddha Konasana. You're bringing the soles of the feet together. You're opening the knees out wide. Once you're making this diamond shape with the legs, just gently press the knees a little further away. Maybe walk your sit bones back a bit more so you get a little more grounded here. Raise the hands up high in the air and then lengthen forward first. Feel your thigh bones plug into your hip socket. And then from there, fold, fold. Walk the hands out a bit more, let the head sink. Let everything come to ease. Notice where you're tightening up within yourself. Just notice these trouble spots, don't judge them. Breathe into them until everything softens and loosens and surrenders. The eyes closed. Let's breathe into the kidney area. The kidney area is the base of the rib cage, lung area at the back of the body. We hold on to fear in our kidneys. So breathe into that area, gather up anything unwanted, unneeded, unnecessary. Imagine it just disappearing and flowing away from the kidney area with the out breath. Let go of your fears, let go of your worries. Get out of your mind, get into your body. Get into your breath. When you start to rise up to seated, walk your hands back towards you. And these are props again for the next pose. Um, we're using two blocks here in the shape of a T on the mat. If you don't have blocks, or if you do have blocks, but you want this to be more restorative, more restful, you're going to just roll a big towel or a blanket and use that in place of the blocks behind you. Right, so if you're using the blocks, they're in the shape of a T like so on the second setting i'm going to face away from the blocks and as you lower down onto them you're guiding this first block between your shoulder blades the top of the block is just below c number seven that's the bony protrusion at the base of the neck the second block is there to catch the head it may be too intense for you especially if the chest is tight in that case you're going to Turn the blocks down to the flat setting. You may need to play with it and adjust it a bit until you find that sweet spot. It should be a little bit intense, but not so intense that it's causing stress or pain or too much struggle. If it is, definitely use a rolled blanket instead. And as you come to rest on the back and you get comfortable, arrange the hands on the body. On the belly just below the rib cage with your fingers spread wide walk your elbows out so your shoulders are free and you're not locking them up 
Come back to the Baddha Konasana position with your feet together, your knees wide. If that's uncomfortable, just lengthen out the legs and open the feet out wide. Now let your body settle into everything that's supporting it. Don't grip or tense away from your support. Breathe through your heart. Pushing the thoughts away for now. Resting in stillness and just being the breath for now. I want you to take your awareness to your spiritual heart. The very center of the chest, the center of the heart, but slightly to the right, about the size of a thumb. Rest your awareness there, center of the heart, slightly to the right. And as your awareness is resting in this space of the true self of the spiritual heart, I want you to invoke the thought of the thing you love the most in the world, the person. It could be a thing. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It could be a group of people. It could be your children, your parents, whatever it is. Invoke that in your mind and then experience with all that you have, the love that you feel for this person, these people, or this thing. Let it rest there in the spiritual heart and then let that love just expand and fill the heart. Just feel it settled and emanating in the heart. And then allow that to just completely start to flood your body, let it spread out from the spiritual heart center, filling every cell. So you're just immersed in this love that you feel, this highest love that you have. Just resting in your pose, vibrating in that for now. And it cast out anything that doesn't serve, any negativity, any darkness or shadows. Let the light of this love just sanitize that. We're going to start to prepare to rise up from the pose. Just gently open your eyes just a crack. Place the hands down at your side. Walk them a bit further back so you can press yourself forward. As you come to seated, just lengthen out the legs and give them a little shake. We're going to sit nice and tall. You can take your props off to the side for now. Take them off your mat. You're going to sit with your feet nice and wide. Right, widen them apart as much as you can. Listen. If your inner knees are troubling you here, if you're feeling pain in the inner knees, you can keep your feet closer. You could also prop the knees up with blocks. That's fine. Raise the hands up high and lengthen up. You're going to square towards your left foot. And we're going to just lean over to the right. You're going to place this forearm here on the thigh or the shin. Maybe on the inside of the leg on the back either the thigh or your shin, maybe your hand grasps through the arch of the foot or the toe, right? Any of these options are fine. Now, don't let your left shoulder drop towards the floor. We're not squaring towards the right leg. You want to circle your heart up to face the ceiling. And then the left fingertips reach forward for the right toe, right? Not the goal, just the direction that you're going. You keep spinning your heart up towards the ceiling, and you're rolling that left hip open and back. Breathe into your left side rib cage. Right. We're working the spleen, liver, and kidney meridians here. The inner shin bone of the right leg. And these meridians support healthy immune. They support the lungs. The lungs are the first defense and immunity, but they're supported by other organs as well. Good. 
kind of rise up from that, just center yourself. Reach the hands high in the air, turn towards the right leg, but lean to the left, the forearm rests on the thigh or shin, maybe inside of the leg. Any placement is fine as long as you're not straining in your body. The heart circles up. You reach the right fingertips in the direction of the left toes. You let this right hip roll back. Breathe light and expansion into your right side rib cage. Good, center yourself, rise up. Now you're just going to take a nice forward fold down over the legs. Let the head sink. Walk the hands forward. Find your limit here. Keep your thigh bones plugging into your hip sockets. You can slightly bend the knees if you want a little bit more release in your inner thigh. Relax the shoulders. Let go of the efforting. Let go of the struggle. Breathe into the back of the lungs. Breathe into the back of the heart. Start to rise up, come to seated. Take the feet closer and just shake out the legs. And take boat pose here. Just start to bring your feet together and recline. Bring your palms to touch, press them together. Slide your heels towards you, lift your feet in the air, engage the belly, lift the heart. If you want to, you're straightening the legs. Good. Feet to the floor, the hands behind you. Press yourself up and away from the mat. Walk your hands forward like you're taking this little crab walk, right? You're taking the hands in front of the feet, the knees to the floor. Just coming to camel pose. Okay, another really good lung opener, heart opener here. You take your hands to your hips, roll your shoulders back, lift your chin, push your belly forward. It's just a gentle variation of the pose. Then we're gonna take the left hand, to the inside of the left heel. Expand the right hand back. You're drawing your left hip forward, keeping your heart lifted. I breathe energy and light into the lungs and into the heart. You're gonna switch. First, enter yourself, hands on the hips. Stay in your little back bend. You're gonna grab the inside of the right heel. Extend the left hand back, heart lifts forward and up. Let go of the struggle and breathe. Good, hand centered on the hip. Start to sink back on the heels for a moment with your toes curled under, press some weight into the toes. Let's come to seated. I'm going to use the block. You could also use a folded towel. If you're at home and you don't have a block, that's fine. You're going to take the block on the flat setting right at the belly of the hamstring muscle, the middle of the thigh. And you're going to take the left foot, just place it in front of the block or next to the block, right? Find your comfort zone. Feel what works right for your body. We lift ourselves away from the floor for a moment just to settle the hips back so you find yourself in a pelvic tilt. Okay? And then from here, what I want you to do is reach and grasp the right foot, the right thumb. I'm going to show you a meridian point. In the webbing of the space between the first and the second toe, the big toe and the second toe, just so slide your hand down into that V where those two bones meet. This is liver number four. It feels very tender, maybe a little bit achy. And you don't just press it in, you press it in and up until you feel it, right? You're releasing the stagnation in that point. You can cover the right thumb with the left and put a little pressure into that point. Lean into it. Then lean into your forward fold. Keep pressing as you sink your head. Liver number four. Liver is a, a big supporter um, of the lung meridian. 
is one of the major points and a lot of energy tends to build up in it so putting a little pressure in that point you can start to release that stagnation that built up energy you might even feel the energy the chi energy or you can think of it as pranic energy or life force you might even feel that rising up in the leg from the point Just give your toes a little wiggle and you're going to switch here. Just place the block or the towel, whatever it is, below the hamstring. So the knee is nicely bent and you arrange the opposite foot comfortably maybe in front of the, the block or next to it. Walk your hips back a bit, shift forward, right? Find your pelvic tilt. And then again, liver number four, slide your index finger down those two bones between your first and second toe, your big toe and your second toe until you find that little where that actually meets in the V. You know, press in and up towards the ankle until you feel the tenderness, the achiness of that. And you're releasing stagnation this way. And again, press the opposite thumb over that. Make it a little more intense. It shouldn't be painful, but it should be intense. That's how you know it's working. And then a little more pressure as you sink the head and lean into your forward fold. I notice where your body's locking up in resistance and try to let that go, breathe into it. Breathe light into any spaces that tend to be dark and holding on, any recesses in the body that are locking up. Begin to release and get seated. Wiggle your toes a little bit as you sit up. Take your prop off to the side. Shake your legs out a bit. I'm going to lower onto the back for bridge pose. So as you lower on your back, make sure your feet are on the floor. And you walk your heels nice and close to you with your arms down at your side and wiggle around on your shoulders and your back. Lift your hips up, curl your tailbone under, and just rest and settle the entire back on the floor so you feel grounded. Now press the hips up in the air for bridge. Lift the belly high, push the shoulders into the floor. Another really good lung opener here, creating expansion, lightness. And then if you want to, grasping the hands together below you, maybe walking your shoulders a bit closer, lifting your hips a bit higher, your gaze at your belly, just watching the breath move through your body. Lower onto your back really slowly, one vertebra at a time. Pull your tailbone under, rest your hips on the floor. You're just gonna hug your knees into your chest. Just give yourself a nice big hug, squeeze it close. Lift your head from the floor and start to rock back and forth until you come all the way up to seated with the legs lengthened out in front of you for the dasana. Plug your thigh bones in. Lift the hands high into the air, lean back. Use your abdominals and then start to hinge forward, pull your belly in. Reach for your feet or grasp wherever you can. You can grasp under the legs or the ankles. You can slightly bend the knees, especially if you have tension in your low back. When you have the knees bent, you're bringing the stretch into the lumbar area. Let the head sink. Let everything settle and come to rest. First, bringing yourself to your limit, just slightly getting outside of your comfort zone. So you feel that deeply in your joints. The joints are what kind of holds the stagnation of energy in the body. They're like locks. 
So bring a little intensity into the joints. You can start to feel that energy begin to flow again. Breathe into the kidney area. We're going to start to rise up to seated, give the legs a little shake. Okay. Now we're going to stack right knee over left. Walk your right foot away from your left leg. Sit nice and tall, raise the hands in the air. Plug the thigh bones in, extend and reach where you can, whether that's the foot or under the leg. Pull yourself closer to your legs, let your head sink. Breathe light into your hips, let go of the struggle in your hips. We start to rise to seated nice and slow. Just untangle the legs and switch. Left knee over right, walk the foot away. Walk your hips back a bit. Settle here, reach up high. Lengthen out over the legs, find a grasp. Bring yourself to your threshold and then just ease your way into the pose, let the head sink. Notice where you're locking up in your body, where you're efforting. Let go of the struggle, come into your breath. Good, come back to seated. We'll take reverse tabletop here, untangle the legs. Feet on the floor, walk them closer to you. Hands behind you, walk them further back. Inhale, belly high. Shoulders up, back, heart up. Maybe let the head go if you want. And lower down. Come all the way to your back. Come down one elbow at a time. Rest the head and shoulders on the mat. Hug the knees in tight, squeeze them. Now you're going to extend your left hand out to the side. Your right hand comes to the outside of your left knee. Left and leg is just drop to the right as you turn to look at your left hand. Twisting. Let the body unravel. Breathe into your left side rib cage. Good. Then roll onto your back again. Give your knees a hug. Extend your right hand out to the side. Drop your legs to the left. Turn to look at your right hand. Let everything release and unravel and soften. Breathe into the right side of the cage. Good. Roll on your back. Release your twists. Grab both knees, hug them close. Lift the feet in the air. Take happy baby, either grabbing the outside of the feet, pulling the knees down to the side and rocking, or maybe you want to just grab behind the knees and pull them down and rock. Good, now release and hug the knees tight. Lift your head from the floor, hug yourself into a little ball, rock up to seated. So we're going to just arrange yourself in a comfortable cross-legged seat, or if you want to, a half lotus or a full lotus. Start to settle. Eyes closed. Relax your shoulders. Slightly tuck in the chin. Let everything come to settle and rest.
Now you're going to take your hands on the knees with the palms up and the index finger and thumbs to touch, but the right thumb lifted up and just gently cover the right nostril, let all the air come out of the nostrils, empty the lungs. And you're just going to start to breathe slowly and smoothly through only the left side. Taking the breath slow and long. You're breathing out of the left side nostril activates the right side brain, the calmer side of the brain. It instantly deactivates fight or flight because it activates the parasympathetic nervous system. There's lots of ways to do this breath. You can add bandhas and holding into it, but this is the most simple way and the easiest thing to remember whenever you feel panicked, or fearful, or you have trouble getting out of your thoughts. Just breathe through your left nostril, slow and smooth. Your eyes closed, but remove your thumb from your right nostril, placing that hand on the knee with the index finger and thumbs to touch. And now just keep your awareness on only your left nostril and make the effort to breathe into just that side without holding the right nostril closed. It's entirely possible, it may feel impossible, but even if you just are able to let your awareness stay there, the energy stays there and you get the same effect. And then you can use this at any time you need or want to use it. Keep the eyes open, keeping your gaze low to the floor, turn your palms down onto your knees. Just going to prepare for Shavasana, right? So you can take your towel or your blanket to rest your head on. If you have a pillow or a bolster at home, you can use that to prop up your legs, especially if you want to have a little more release in your lower back as you lie flat on your back. And then cover yourself with another blanket. I also recommend if you have an eye bag, covering your eyes with the eye bag. It shuts off the senses a little more quickly so you can go into rest mode. You want to get as comfortable as possible, laying as still as possible. Prop yourself up however you want or need to. You prop up the head so that it's supported and the chin is slightly tucked in. And you can kind of tuck the blanket into all the little crevices of the head and the neck. And as you settle, settle into stillness here, even if you're already still, I want you to wiggle around just a little bit more. Get a little bit more comfortable, even if it's just 1% more comfortable. And the eyes close and you turn the gaze within. And you allow yourself to be present in this moment. Let everything else wait for now. The world can just wait. All of the bones getting heavy. All of the tissue softening. Relax the face. Let the skin of the face soften. Let your eyeballs sink and you see it into the socket. Let your jaw get heavy and go slack. Let the tongue rest in the floor of the mouth. And allow your throat to soften. Relax your shoulders. Let your chest soften. Let your heart soften. Your arms resting down at your side. Your fingers curling. Relax the entire back. Let the spine get heavy. Bring your awareness to your ribs. The rib cage just wrapped around the body, the back of the rib cage resting on the floor, the front of the rib cage gently rising and falling with the flow of your breath. 
Let the belly soften and let all the organs just settle into the pelvic bowl. And allow your hips to release and unravel. Let the legs rest, the thighs and the knees, the shins, feet, toes. Notice any remaining holding in the body, any remaining tension, and breathe it all out. I want you to visualize yourself surrounded by a protective blue light, the light of Divine Mother, just surrounding your auric field. And allow that light to enter you and fill every cell so your entire body is infused with this protective blue light, just emanating in this healing and protective blue light. And visualizing the face of Mother Divine, however you might imagine that to be. I want you to bring your awareness then to your heart. And in your heart, gathering up anything unnecessary, any fears or worries, any negativity, anything unnecessary, unwanted, unneeded, any sadness. Gather it up in a ball of energy. And pass that to Mother Divine. And she happily will accept that and absorb it for you. And bear that burden so that your heart can now be light and free. And continue to rest in the glow of this light. Allowing yourself to relax a little bit more and more with each breath until you hear the sounds of my voice again.
is definitely beginning to awaken. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Slightly nod the head. When you're ready, hugging the knees into the chest. Just take your time. Roll to your right and just rest there in a fetal position for a moment. Take another moment of calm and quiet. Whenever you're ready, coming up to a comfortable seat, still taking your sweet time. And bringing your hands to press together at the heart, sealing in your practice. Thank you all for coming to share your practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you, Joyce.